Hey everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. Good afternoon to you. Hope y'all holding down okay down there in Florida. I know things are getting tight. Ada is up to 70 miles per hour. It's been like that for a while. I did check all the model runs, and all the model runs do show that it is about to start its weakening phase. Uh, everything except for the H Wharf was showed a little bit more strengthening, but that's the only one. All the other models show that the dry air will take over and it'll start weakening. So hang tight. The projections that I did this morning in the video does show true the 40 to the 60 miles per hour wind gusts. So please hang tight. God bless you down there in Florida. Now we have our update for Disturbance 1 and Invest 98L. It has gone up to, to 80 percentile. And the only thing new as far as ADA comes is now there's a 3 to 5 feet potential storm surge by Tampa Bay. And, it, and it's still 2 to 4 feet by Charlotte Harbor. Uh, it's still two to four feet in northern Florida, but by, right by Tampa Bay, it went up from uh, two to four feet to three to five feet. So be aware of that new update, guys. As far as the uh, rain that y'all have uh, left that's to come, you still have another four to six inches in the yellow over by Tampa, and you still have two to four inches in the dark green, and you have one to two inches in the light green spots. Now, getting over to Invest 90, 98L. If you remember, the potential velocity that we have, we just got finished over ADA. This is the last bit it has left. Don't have much strength. Our next potential velocity anomaly will happen somewhere around the 15th all the way to the 20th. And it's a lot of energy in there. Plus, if you remember, we still have another one that's coming in late November. It's a smaller one, but it's still a, a potential velocity. Plus, in December, we have December 6th all the way to December 12th, guys. So this season is not over by a long shot. Now here you got Ada, but I checked to see what the next uh, formation would be for a tropical depression within the next 72 hours. And this is the area that it's expected to form, and in four days, it's gonna move right below uh, southern Jamaica. I will show you Jamaica, why it gets steering that way. And then in five days, it moves more to the west. It's still southern below Jamaica. Then it goes in six days towards the Yucatan, uh, uh, Yucatan, I'm sorry, not the Yucatan, Nicaragua, Honduras, all of Central America, even affects Belize and a little bit of Guatemala as well. Now, this right here is your icon model. And I want to show you the intensities that all these different models are showing. This one is still updating, only have up to 120 hours but it's already showing millibars of 982. That is a hurricane. If you go by the GFS parallel V16, it shows an even worse case scenario. It shows that it will be a 938. That is major, guys. Major damage. Now, if you look at the regular GFS, it does show that it gets down to a 966. So either way, we are definitely looking at a strong hurricane that's gonna be going towards Central America and if it looks like it's going towards Nicaragua and Honduras, because if you look, as it passes by Jamaica and tr tries to make its way towards the Gulf, uh, a dominant high pressure moves in from the west. It covers the whole Gulf and makes it go south, and it can't go no further north. That's why it chose this instead of coming to the Gulf like it's been showing us. Now, here's the one that I didn't like. This is the Korean model. This is why I really like alerting people early. This is literally... Two days, two days. It's showing a system right outside Nicaragua, Honduras, and then two days later, it literally spins up to a hurricane within two days. That is not enough time for anybody. Now, if you go through the dry air, this is what I wanted to show you, Jamaica. This is the main reason why you're not going to be having uh, too much of a problem. You can see that you do have dry air moving in. We do have northerly winds moving in, flowing down south to the southwest. And as the storm moves through, this is our storm system right here. You're covered in dry air at the moment. And then it starts getting uh, easterly winds and it starts moving to the west away from you. And that's when you're going to get the rain. You're going to get the rain from Saturday to Monday. And that is it. After that, you are done. I don't know about the next system that has a potential, has a lot of dry air in and over Puerto Rico. We, we will worry about that later. But as you can see, there's so much dry air. It's not coming to the Gulf. It has to go to Central America. It don't have a choice. That's the only place it can go. 
Now this right here, this is your your, your layers to show you the, the, the streamlines to show you which way uh, the winds are blowing, the way that these systems are going to be directed. Now Jamaica, if you take a look, you will see that these streamlines are all pointing to the south. You have some very strong northerly northerly winds that's going to be steering this storm south, and it's going to steer it south long enough before it straightens up and tries to go west to where it's already below you and not over you. So this is where you're going to get your rain from. You're going to get your rain all the way from Saturday all the way to Monday. And then this system, it, you can see the, 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 the northerly winds pushing in the Gulf to the south. It, it isn't coming up. It has a lot of dry air. It is going to head to Nicaragua and Honduras. And I do apologize, Nicaragua, Honduras, all of you in Central America. Y'all are going through so much. It is unreal. So God bless every single one of you over there. But I just wanted to do a quick update, let y'all know what was going on with Ada. I know y'all might be a little worried, thinking, oh, it is strengthening. It is about to start going down, guys. You're still going to have the 40 to the 60 miles per hour wind gusts. Still be aware of that you still got those rains. You still got the, the storm surge. So please be aware of that. Most of all, Guatemala, Honduras, Nicaragua, Belize, all of you guys over there. God bless every single one of you. I've seen the videos on the internet. Y'all are going through more than anybody should be asked to. It is a lot. So God bless every single one of you. I do hope that y'all will be okay. I do hope that this thing does change direction. Because the last thing y'all need is another one. As well as us. That's the last thing we need as well. So God bless everybody. I hope this thing just dissipates. Central America, I, I want to pray for you. Psalm 82. God standeth in the congregation of the mighty. He judgeth among the gods. How long will ye judge unjustly and accept the persons of the wicked? Salah. Defend the poor and fatherless. Do justice to the afflicted and needy. Deliver the poor and needy. Rid them out of the hand of the wicked. They know not. Neither will they understand. They walk on in darkness. All the foundations of the earth are out of course. I have said, Ye are gods, and all of you are children of the Most High. But ye shall die like men, and fall like one of the princes. Arise, O God, judge the earth, for thou shalt inherit all nations. Amen. God bless y'all. I hope y'all have a great night tonight. We will do another update tomorrow. I just wanted to let you know that this thing is not coming to the Gulf. Unfortunately, it looks like it's going to Central America. So God bless you, Central America. Hit that subscribe button. I do update every day. I want to make sure y'all stay informed down there. Hope y'all have a blessed night tonight. All glory does go to God. Amen.